So this is a uh, controller or control box for a uh, garage door, one of those roller shutter style garage doors. And it comes with a few remotes. And it was donated to me um, because it doesn't work. Um, and if I power it up by supplying it with 230 volts at the input mains electricity, um, there's no lights that come on or nothing, it doesn't respond to any of the buttons. So um, I was just curious to see what exactly is wrong with it. Um, and maybe we can fix it. Um, and uh, maybe I can give it back to him so that he doesn't need to buy a replacement. Or I'll just salvage it for parts. Either way, it's fun to take a look at it. So if we disconnect the power, um, let's uh, have a quick look. So we've got these two relays here, and um, what they effectively do, they uh, switch on the motor side, which is this, this connector here, where you have a neutral, and you have one live for roll up, the um, roller shutter, and another live for roll down the shutter. So it, it, it switches power, the live power um, for one position to go up, and then another one for the roller to roll the other way. And then it's got um, this light bulb here that illuminates as soon as you press the remote so you've got light in your garage. And um, various uh, switch connections. I think this connector here is for a... This connector here that I've linked out is for a um, optical sensor so that uh, I, I assume if something passes underneath the door or if you reverse or something then it'll break the beam has a reflector on the other side it shines the um, presumably infrared light onto the reflector bounces back and the photo cell inside uh, picks it up so if you break that beam it will interrupt the door for safety but uh, I don't have the reflector so I've just linked it out so that it doesn't look for that um, sensor but still it doesn't work so I think uh, if we flip the board over we can study it a bit just to have a look um, just carefully flip over, make sure there's nothing misbehaving. So if we look at it closely, um, this is our little um, RF module that uh, the remote reads the remote. That's the antenna, external antenna connection, some dip switches. Um, so that just talks to this main board here with this uh, chip here. But um, I checked the fuse. The fuse is fine. Um, so let's uh, probe a bit of, let's power it up and, and we can probe it to see whether or not um, the power is getting through. Um, if there's any blown tracks or anything like that. If we've got um, power on the uh, control circuits. Just have to be careful because this is all mains voltage on this side here. So I think the low voltage side is over here. I can see here what looks like four diodes forming a bridge rectifier. So the output of the transformer, which is underneath here, I think you've got a 24 volt output here. And it's being rectified by these diodes here. And then it goes to a smoothing capacitor, a thousand microfarad filter smoothing capacitor. So this will be your smoothed DC over here. Uh, and that's your mains voltage coming in. That's the hot side. Um, so let's uh, power it up and uh, we use the multimeter and we can see if we get any readings from there. So we'll apply power. We've already established nothing comes on, but um, so if we're really careful to avoid the mains, so we can see that there's mains electricity there. If we check there, we get 234 volts today. So that's a good sign. So let's check if the output of the transformer is working. Yeah, so we're getting about 20 volts there. So let's see if. Uh, we get voltage on the, the filter capacitor 
after it's been smoothed, after it's been rectified and smoothed by these bridge rectifier diodes. It needs to be switched to DC, of course. Twenty seven volts. So that's our 24 volt supply that's been rectified and smoothed. Right now, the other thing is all this logic stuff here that presumably doesn't run on on 24 volts. So it's probably just the relay coils that need the 24 volts to operate. Um, so there must be a regulator here somewhere that uh, regulates the voltage. And if I look at this uh, this chip here. It looks like it's a 78L05A. Now that's that's a, that's a voltage regulator. It's a five volt voltage regulator. I know it's a in a in a eight pin uh, package, but it's the same as the normal th uh, three pin voltage regulators that you normally see. I will 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 look that up. So we need to find out what the output pin is on that, and. Um, see if we get a voltage so that's the negative there and uh, so if we just probe that there probe that there i believe the output is over here so we're not getting anything on the output of the regulator So it's a bit strange. Should be should be seeing the 24 volt or 27 volt DC there for, on the input of this. And if it gets that correct voltage, if it if it's get gets fed by this supply voltage from this transformer, then we should get a 5 volt on the output. So I reckon if we make a bridge from there to the input there, it should power this chip and bring 5 volt to the rest of the board. If we're lucky, it should spring to life. Um, and that should make it work. It's a bit strange how there's no connection from here to there. And maybe via this transistor somehow, but I don't see the point of it. I, I could just make a link from there to there, either with the resistor or just a wire link. So I think we should power the board down and uh, see if we can link that out and see uh, if we can make it work. So. If we lubricate a bit of solder on there, so it takes a, a wire link quite easily. And one over there. Right, that should be a, a nice little test to see if it's possible to just make this thing turn on. And if it works, I don't see why we shouldn't just leave it like that. Sure, nothing shorting out. So let's see. I don't know if there's a blown track or something, but I don't see any obvious blown track. But uh, that turns on. Happy days. A little bit bodge, but it seems to seems to be logical. Right. Contact. Let's put some mains voltage on it. Ooh, that's interesting. We have a red LED. Supply on. That's a good sign. Let us try the remote control. I can hear relays clicking. And this LED indicates that the door is open. So let's press the down button on the remote to shut the door. Oh, something's happening. That sounds very promising. Um, 
And if I press the stop button, then it just cuts the power to the door. It's like an emergency stop. And this is indicating that uh, this light is on here. Let's see if this push button down here works. Yeah, that's to manually operate the door without a remote. That's very interesting. So let's uh, check if there's power on the motor terminals. Let's just reset everything. So if we switch it uh, to AC. So if we probe uh, on the neutral and uh, the open and closed terminals, I don't know which one's which, on the motor. Okay, so we're not getting anything now. So let's press open. And now we get to 230 volts. So that means the, door, the motor is running in one direction. And if I press down, it should. And the supply drops away, and it should now be on the other terminal. That's it. So the motor is now running down. And if I press the stop button, it should cut the power. So that's interesting. So. Um, I think that uh, it's effectively uh, fixed. What does this LED do? Oh, that just shows you that the uh, remote is being operated, so that there's signal. Well, that's another bit of um, electronics that doesn't have to go in the bin, because it seems to be working perfectly now. Um, yeah, I don't know why that 5-volt uh, regulator wasn't being fed by the supply but my little wire link is doing that and everything is working fine now so maybe leave in the comments if you know why that could be um, or it's it's somehow being switched the, the, fire, the, the input to the regulator is somehow being switched via a transistor on and off maybe it's waiting for a power good signal while when you first turn it on before it feeds the regulator or something, I don't know, there's no, I can't explain it. But um, that's quite interesting, it was uh, fun to take a look at. And um, it's not going to go in the bin. Yeah, I mean, I was just going to salvage some relays and maybe the transformer off of it, but now I could actually control any motor that works in that way. That has, you put live on one motor terminal and it spins one way. And then live on the other terminal, it spins the opposite way. There's lots of motors that work like that. AC um, mains operated single phase motors. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll just I'll, I'll give it back to him, and 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 he can put it back on the wall instead of buying a new one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, maybe you could uh, have a suggestion of. Uh, what I could do with this or what caused this fault to happen but it seems to be fixed now I'm happy with this um, like this um, I'll test it for a while to see if it doesn't misbehave but uh, yeah sub subscribe and uh, leave a comment and we can make more videos like this if you like it see you later